what could scare me is, you know, um, not having my brothers and sisters and my family members around. Uh, losing one of them would be the roughest and toughest time in my life. And hey, what's the uh, number two cent for? Number two? Yeah. Oh, number two? Oh. Yeah, give it to so number two, right? Number two is for my brother Roger. My brother Roger, uh, he went missing about two years ago. Oh. Uh, we, you know, he used to run with us, so he was on our team too. We used to have a team called Rice Rockets prior, and he ran all the events with us, did everything together. That's why we all got number two on our back. You know, so that, that represents him, and you know, he's with us throughout the whole journey. Yeah. Because if he if he wasn't missing, he'll be right here with us running. And he was he was number he's number, number two, two uh, because he always likes to remind people that uh, they're number two because he's always first. You yeah. know what I mean? So if you're behind him, he want to let you know that you're number two. <laughs> <laughs> I know, he, I know he's somewhere out there looking at us right now. Miss you, so. Roger. Yes, sir. We miss you. I wish you could be here, man. All right, then. Just a bunch of you know six random runners coming together to do this event. We're like it's a brotherhood, it's a family. You care about each other's well-being and success outside of Pick Six. So that's what makes this whole thing special. Feet uh, to the beach, uh, running from Fresno to Pismo is going to be really special to me because this is the first time we do an ultra run. And for me, as a first time runner, it's a daunting task. You know, you think, just think about it, 200 miles and through the night. So I think it's definitely going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. Most uh, events like these have teams of 12 uh, members. There's only six of us. We have to run double as what uh, a regular team would have to run. The good thing about these guys, these guys are competitive. So. Uh, and I know these guys will never let me down and I know you know I'll try my best not to let them down. Even while you're not running you're still in a van moving and to the next point to the next point because it's a relay. If I can still breathe I'm just gonna keep going. I mean I know a lot about Chewy, I know a lot about Fu Chen and, and Cheesy but uh, the new guys Bobby and Danny and then those guys were the ones that uh, that really uh, changed my perspective on running. I mean, uh, I know what the, the other guys bring to the table, but for Danny and Bobby, new territory for these guys, and they, they came out and, they, and they, they represented well for pick six. You know, as I've grown up, sports has always been a big part of my life, and I think it's kept me relatively healthy, so I just want to pass that message along to keep everybody aware of the benefits of, you know, maybe just an hour run, an hour walk. The person who brought this together is my, uh, my little brother Chewy and he motivates me and I believe he motivates everybody else a lot. 
Hi, my name is uh, Chiwi Zong. Um, pronounce it in Hmong, Chi Yi. Uh, married to Anna Her, I have one beautiful daughter named Arya. I have to say Chui. He motivated me to, uh, you know, try harder, you know, be better. He believed in me, and it, it makes me like, you know, want to do it too. Uh, I have to, I'll pick Chui. You know, the captain of our team. He's a good role model for a lot of people. You know, he's got his head on right. He's making the right strides in life. You know, he's he's done well for himself. And he takes care of his people, you know, that's, that's, that's the thing that sticks out about him. You know, he loves his people, his group of buddies, cousins, friends, you know, he's, he's genuinely concerned and excited for, you know, people's well-being. You know, we're generally concerned about, you know, how well I'm doing and keeping up with me and making sure that, you know, we're all taking the right steps forward. So that's, he's, he's a very good guy. Hey, my name is Bobby, uh, married, 31 years old. I have a baby girl on the way. So after this run, you know, I'm um, gonna be really busy. <laughs> <laughs> Running is really not my thing, so uh, I wanna challenge myself. Am I ready for it? Maybe not yet, but uh, I, I'm training to, to be ready for it, and I'm going to be ready for it. <laughs> All these guys are great, man. But uh, if I have to choose, uh, maybe uh, Hussein. He's never let me down. He's let. He's never let anybody down. Hey, thanks for the ride, man. Yeah, no worries, bro. It was a long year. Let's do this. Actually, uh, he's uh, you know very uh, motivated, and he he likes to motivate others too. So, thanks for the ride. Honestly, it's just free chance. Uh, it's a great guy, man. <laughs> and thanks for serving. You know, I can't let my team down, and uh, I'm trying my best to get faster, and I know my stamina will be up there. So how hard, I mean, I think there's always room for improvement, and there's always much more uh, or that we could do to train our bodies, but 
this is more of a, a mental challenge than anything. I know everyone worked hard, everyone had family, everybody had jobs. I don't think you can ever train 100%. No, I can't. I can't let nobody down. The funnest part about this journey so far is just uh, the training aspect of it. You know, the holding each other accountable and. Um, uh, motivating each other to, to get faster, to get, to get stronger, you know. When I first started running and I've seen other teams run on ultra teams, I used to look at them and go, wow, you know, those guys are, those guys are tough, but you know, they're, they're the hot shots. I wish I could be one of them one day, you know. Well, just like with everything, um, running is kind of like, once you, once, once you start doing it, I mean, it just becomes a daily routine. Just like, just like waking up in the morning and brushing your teeth, you know, once you do it enough, it becomes second nature and, uh, you don't even realize that you're you're running to be in shape. You're just running because it's something to do. It's part of your daily routines, and and from that you get all these uh, benefits: active lifestyle. Uh. Okay, Daddy. All right, bye, Nancy. Bye, bye, bye guys. Bye. Have fun. Bye, baby. Bye. Uh. Running to me is like therapy. I just go and I go and I go, and as I'm going, I don't think about nothing else. It's just me, the road, the trails that we run, and I'm just so focused and so tuned in. We made some really um, concrete hard goals. We wanted to finish, not just finish the event, but we want to finish it in a timely and competitive manner. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it turns out. About this event, just to go out there and have a good time and enjoy myself with a group of group of guys that that you've learned to uh, accept as family, you know. And these guys become uh, your brothers. And the group of guys that I know grew up in the neighborhood, just to run with them and just to create more bond, like a brothership and like a family. I got my buddies with me. They've done this before, and I've seen them on the course running and. It gives me some kind of like, it helps me feel better about this run because I know that I won't be running alone. It's such a, such a big event and it's, this is something that we may never do again. You know, a 200 mile relay. Don't know what's the outcome, but uh, we'll see. Everybody has to be able to run their up to their speed that you know we discuss to to meet time and to finish the race within the allotted time. So it's it's been a little tough, but it's gonna pay off.
I'll have to say uh, one thing about one of my teammates, uh, King from Fresno. He's real inspirational. Um, when I need to rely on him to get something done, he's accountable. And not just that, but he's real positive and he, he's always encouraging the team. Come on, King! What do you think about King's performance? Oh man, that was awesome, dude. <laughs> Killed it. Yeah. Killed it. Uh, he was, he was, uh, he was at 10 minutes ahead. He ran a 7.40, right? 7.40. 47. Yeah. Not bad. You think you can do better? We'll see, man. Bobby, how many miles? 5.3. How long? Uh, probably under an hour. <laughs> no, you gotta give me a number. Under an hour, man, to be at the same time. 50? We'll try, we'll try 50 minutes, maybe. 50? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, we'll right. see. Are you feeling? Like? Hold on, I'll wait that boy for that car. Man. Look around, guys. 1042. Did you get lost? No. 1042. Yeah. Hit the train. I had like a minute on that guy. And then I, I got stopped by the train. After the train, traffic off the freeway. And after the train, he just took off. He was fast. Still got 28 more miles. But it was tough. It's hot already. Tough. Jensen, when you just cross Jensen, leave a water bottle. Because if I'm sprinting a lot fast, I, I'm gonna, like, if I get a dry mouth, I'm not gonna have anything the rest of the way. You took a right when you got the T-ball, huh? Yeah, yeah. See, I told you guys. Well, I saw, so, I saw somebody running over here, so I, was I think I took the wrong way. So That's what I said, study your maps. Well, tell me how you feeling now, man. Uh, legs are tight, man. <laughs> legs yeah. are super tight. I ran faster than I, I initially thought. Pick six, pick six. Yeah, pick six. What's time? 11.32. Um, I say running keeps me sane. And running is something special because when I get out there and I go for miles and miles, I forget about how long I've been running. I forget about you know how many hours I've been out there. And I'm just on another level, like what they say, you're on cloud nine and you don't even know it. If you go out there for a jog and you keep going, that's like the, I guess the happy zone. Come on, man! You got it! You're almost there! How are you guys doing? Great, and you? We're doing good. Support. Yeah. <laughs> How you doing? Sorry, good. Yeah. It's a little warmer than I expected, but it's not bad. It's trying to catch up. I got two, no, three kills. Three kills. So I'll, I'll take that. Okay. Damn, that stretch was like forever. I should wear like a hat or something. <laughs> you, can't, you can't look up at all. 
that three fours would be better. Set us up there. Feels good. Huh? Yeah, but uh, ultra teams right here too. They're fast, huh? Yeah, sorry, we'll catch up. Yeah. Thanks for volunteering. Yeah, dude. Good luck on your run. Thank you. you guys. Bye. Bye. You know, I can't let my team down, and uh, I know my stamina will be up there. So we just got to keep going. If my legs are not, you know, dead, you know, then I'm just going to keep going. How was the run? Struggle a little bit? Yeah, kind of. A little more than you thought? Yeah, a little. No, it's okay. Yeah? Just, we were just a little hot. I went fast and then got to the middle. I kind of used all my energy. Yeah. Paste it. My next one, though. No. Okay, cool. Oh, you're, you're yeah. You want to start speaking? Oh, look what like you got. Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what we asked you. Did, did, you, did you take yeah. the long turn? He was trying to talk <laughs> Man, dude. You got like a minute and a half to catch up, just sitting there. No, because you know when, when we passed you on the bridge, you guys, yeah. you was already you ahead of already. Yeah. Come on, baby. You got it. You need water? You need water? Let's go, let's go. Seven miles away only. Killing it, killing it. Okay, Ch Chase, Chase, you guys. Killed it. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're, we're way ahead of time. I can't tell myself. Hey, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. I was chasing him for hell long. Caught up on some time from his team. Uh, Past two of the ultra, so I feel good about that. Uh, First run down, five more to go. Yep. Let's go, pick six. <laughs> How's that cup of noodle? PJ. PJ. Good, good. Right. Yeah, this is perfect, perfect, perfect. Hey, hey, it's perfect. Hey, hey. See you in a bit. All right, King, you got it, man.
first meal of the day. Yeah. And you know you're Asian, so you gotta bring cup noodles. You know what I mean? <laughs> Chewie's gonna run that pretty fast, so we should probably get going too. Oh, let me get in the back and then uh. I'll How you doing, Danny? Okay. You about to go to sleep? Yeah, yeah you find some stuff for sore muscles. Some bio yeah. freeze. Oh, yeah, All yeah, the laser yeah. right now are short, oh, so yeah, yeah. I'll be running again oh, really soon. Oh, yeah. Just try to stay warm. Yeah, Until we hit the long legs, I and mean, that's when we get our rest again. So. Well, Keep them up. safe. Yep. Yep. Well. Like earlier, you turned off and. Did a, did a red light turn on? There's a button too. This is gonna work with it. Then this is nice. Thing ever in your life that you've done? Yep, it is. 
this, nothing but hills. The roads were super oh, scary, dark, and it was freaking high. So you could barely see anything. I mean, I, I thought half marathons were hard. This is, blows it out the water. It's not even close. <laughs> blows it out the water. Yeah. How, how do you feel about this place? Was it? It's, it's tougher than I thought. And I thought it was going to be smooth, but, you know, a lot of surprising. Uh, yeah. All right. A lot of surprising uh, hills and mountains that we had to climb, so yeah, it's pretty tough. Do we look like we just woke up or do we look like we've been up all night? No, you guys look good, man. <laughs> you guys look good. I lost my hat. Was I? Did you? Yeah, you man. You run too fast. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you wanted to share with me. I tried to dry it outside on the, the antenna, but the wind oh, wow. picked up while we were driving and it flew off. Rookie mistake. You drove for about 16 hours? <laughs> All day yesterday. Yeah, they burst All the stop last night. Since this morning till. <laughs> Two in the morning, huh? And then we finally switch. Yeah. So we drove by like 16 hours. How you? How's your body feeling? Tired, but too excited for the guy, so I can't sleep. It's exhausting. What, what time is it now? Uh, it's uh, 7:12. Yeah, 7:12. 7:12. <sighs> it's okay. Only <laughs> 10 more hours. <laughs> 10 more hours. How's the uh, sleep here in the car? Comfortable? Just take turns <laughs> sleeping, dude. I right, someone laying in the bag. You your, your back's hurting more than your legs, huh? My my foot is hurting and my ankle is hurting. Oh. I sore ankles. So that was hard. Because you sit you sit in the you got in the cold and it's hurting and it's hurting and then you're running and then after like right. five, ten minutes you're good. I'm stretching out my legs. Good night? Oh man, yeah, it was a rough night. But I didn't do too bad, I guess, you know? Yeah. Uh my five my five and a half i did it in like 40 something minutes I, it was really cold too but i mean i managed to fight through it and it was pretty good um the hills kind of sucked but gotta live with it that's what i signed up for so my two hard ones probably gonna be these next two because i have a nine mile run and then right after is my eight mile run so I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> you already get a picture of like 30, 31. You guys must be hungry, yeah? Cup best, of noodle after, after cup of noodle. so far. <laughs> yeah, the bread is super soft and good. Fucking beast, <sighs> For your next round, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long night, a lot of driving, falling asleep, but you know we got the Red Bull, so we good. <coughs> Keep these guys up, got to motivate them. All right. Yeah. <laughs> good luck, guys. Thank you. How far is it? Eight miles. Eight miles. Yeah. 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 You give yourself an hour to be there? No, oh, not hour an hour. 20, hour 20. Uh, 45 minutes? Hour, hour 20. 20. An hour 20? Hour 25. Hour 20. Yeah. I 
running a little bit in January and decided that I wanted to challenge myself. So I started looking around and I found the event uh, Feet to the Beach. Pretty much everyone was pretty excited and um, enthusiastic about it, just as much as I was. And from there, once they agreed that they were committed, that's when we formed Big Six. Um, he asked me and I was really excited about it because I'm a type of person where I like to really challenge myself and I always love a challenge and I feel like um, doing it with a group of guys that want to set this goal and actually try to meet it, it would be really fun. I never knew that I could do it, so I mean when I did it, I was pretty surprised. You know, once you reach the stage of fatigue, your, your, your body gets tired, your legs start to hurt. Just push yourself mentally. You gotta get through it, you know. You gotta have a, a supportive uh, wife, because without support, I wouldn't be here now, you know. This one day, Chewie just, he texted me, you know, asking me if I uh, want to run with it. And uh, that was very special to me. It's such a such a big event, and it's this is something that we may never do again. You know, a 200 mile relay, and so it's we just want to. I guess before we get older, you know, people are we got pe our buddies are getting kids, and people are moving on in life, getting married. You know, who knows how long we all live locally together. So we feel like it's important to document this journey, this this race, and it's just it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. So we want to share that with our viewers, our supporters, friends and family, you know, to show them anything's possible and to show them the benefits of, you know, physical health and inspire people to run, to get out there, do whatever they do. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, if it's one thing, um, just believe in yourself, you know, anything's possible. I know that that's a corny quote, but it really is if you put in the work and dedication. I believe that with hard work and perseverance, you can pretty, do one, you can pretty much do anything in life, so just believe in yourself. If you put the time and the training into it, and you are consistent at what you do, it shows how much character and how much heart you have. No matter how, how crazy your dreams or aspirations may be, you can do it because before I met these guys, I would have never done this on my own. It's just a group of guys that became brothers, you know, and something that we'll never forget. <laughs>